Tens of thousands of people constantly living in fear. Tibet's conflict with China is as intriguing as it is worrying. And to give us a window into their world, a fearless Adelaide filmmaker has taken the brave step of recording some of the disturbing realities. Paul Macon reports. We have the unshakable faith that we are not wrong. It's made me even more resolved to, to keep doing what I'm doing. It's the roof of the world, a Shangri-La being ruled by terror. There's no freedom of speech, there's no freedom of religion, people are persecuted. And it's taken an Adelaide woman to turn the cameras on Tibet and shine a light on this Chinese-occupied region. Not in a sanitised way, as the ruling government would wish, but warts and all. I didn't think that enough people knew about the story behind the issue of Tibet. You see, one Chinese soldier's rifle fell down. One demonstrator, Tibetan. Local filmmaker Lara Damiani is making The Tibet this Project, a fearless documentary that the Chinese government doesn't want the world to see. I was even told, don't ask a taxi driver because if you um, get into a taxi driver driven by a Chinese, he's likely to be a Chinese spy. And if you get into a taxi driven by a Tibetan, he's likely to, to suffer consequences for driving you there. So it, it was difficult to, to talk to anyone. People couldn't talk openly. Despite the obvious danger in poking her lens in where it isn't wanted, Lara is determined to tell the full Tibetan story. The Tibetans have been living um, as a very oppressed nation and very oppressed people. These people who are incredibly warm and, and very peaceful and just unique, wonderful people. And you, we could sense every day, as each day passed, we could sense the oppression and the inability for those people to talk freely. But some were anxious to go before her camera and tell the world of the continuing struggle, including the exiled Dalai Lama. We try our best, you see, to appeal Chinese government uh, to look Tibet uh, issue realistically. And firstly, uh, they should know the reality. Uh, the Chinese government, you see, uh, do not admit there is a problem. <laughs> Dalai Lama is an incredible man. I think he's he's has a, a level of wisdom that few people can probably understand. He often talks about and refers to Chinese people as, in, in really positive terms. Other Tibetans forecast, through the doco, dire consequences due to the Chinese destruction of the ecosystem in the region. Chinese are in Tibet to stay and they, they are destroying not just Tibetan life and culture, which will affect only six million Tibetans, but they are destroying the fragile environment of Tibet to an extent where it will have global implications. Exploitation of mineral resources have already left a huge footprint. And having contaminated its own major rivers through industrialisation, China now threatens the ecological viability of river systems in Tibet through damming and changing natural flows in a bid to meet its thirst for water and energy. People are saying that the next great war may be fought over fresh water and not oil. And Tibet is the source of all the major rivers of Asia. Despite having strong feelings on the Chinese occupation of Tibet, Lara is not against the Olympic Games being hosted by China. I'm not opposed to the Olympic Games per se. I think they're a, it's a great event. Even the Dalai Lama backed China's bid for the Olympic Games. So at that time, I expressed China most populated nation, therefore it deserves to take host of Olympic Games. So I support, still I support. I've always wanted to be able to provide the People's Republic of China an opportunity to come forth and give their side of the story. They're not interested? They're not interested, no. Lara also wants Prime Minister Kevin Rudd in the film. So far, her requests for an interview have failed. At the end, 
the truth will prevail. This is our belief. So on this belief, we are continuing.